In a counter-analysis, this person points out that Mendoza, the previous study, might have accidentally overlooked relevant tree characteristics in multiple species that were involved in the survey. So this is actually really good for us. We, we had a decent understanding, but it's always nice when they just messed up in the study and we're going to be looking for an answer that accurately describes how this person messed up. They overlooked relevant information. In A, due to the challenge of collecting representative research on trees, the survey might have involved previous investigations with a focus too heterogeneous to be comparable. So in contrast to homogeneous, which would be like all the same thing, heterogeneous would be studying too many things. The problem is that this person pointed out that the person that messed up might have overlooked characteristics, not that they included too many. So while A is just a problem in general, it's not a problem that happened here. In B, the method chosen by the scientists enabled them to sort through and discard clearly incomplete or inconsistent data before carrying out their study. So two problems. We don't see that what this person messed up with was discarding stuff, it was overlooking stuff. The second problem is B would be a good thing, not a problem with your study. If you're getting rid of the inconsistencies, the stuff that's incomplete, you're actually making your data more whole and more significant. So B is wrong for two reasons. In C, Due to the survey containing data on a limited quantity of tree species, its conclusion is reliable for those species, but is unable to be extended to species not involved in the survey. So while this would be a problem, and we've seen it in those passages where they're like, you can't generalize this, right? We have multiple problems with this one. At no point did they say anything about us having like a limited or insufficient quantity or sample size. Even worse, they say the problem in C is that we is that it works for the stuff in the study, but we can't extend it to stuff outside. But right at the end here, they say they skipped important characteristics for stuff that was involved in the survey. So we don't even need to look outside the survey. We have problems with stuff in our survey. So definitely not C. In D, a limitation in the methodology or a problem in how they were conducting the survey employed by the scientists might indicate that the survey's conclusion is not adequately substantiated. Their conclusion is not backed up by strong enough evidence. Makes total sense. This is what we were looking for with the problem in their study. While they were conducting the survey, they were skipping over relevant characteristics of the plants, leading to it not being backed up by enough evidence. D. Okay, 